Welcome everyone to my channel Saskiano. With UMD. Do you want to know how to remove unwanted elements with content aware in After Effects? Then you are in the right place to be. Let's start our tutorial. In this tutorial, I am working with the project file. Content Aware Fill. You will find this project file with the media associated with this tutorial. Just double click to open it in After Effects. We've all had that situation before where we've saved up to take a fantastic trip. And we have this one piece of footage that would be amazing if not for people standing in the way. Or in this example this van driving down this isolated road. Now to show you the clip that we're working with. I will click on the timeline and press the space bar. And you'll notice not only is the van traveling down the street. But we're also panning and moving the camera around. So, traditionally to remove this van out of that shot would be quite a bit of work. We're going to use a track mask and content aware fill to fix the situation relatively quickly. So, I'll press the space bar to stop playback. And I will start by actually moving my current time indicator to frame zero. The first thing we need to do is select the frames that we would like to have filled with Content Aware Fill. And I'll do that by creating a mask. So, L will select layer 1 in the timeline. Go up and grab the pen out of my toolbar. And I'll just click. And then click again. Click down here making sure little shadow is also in the mask. I will click out here just to make sure everything is in the selection. And I'll click there. Now the van is selected. I'll go grab my selection tool. And under my mask settings. I will click on the drop down. And change it from add to none. So. I can follow the mask as we track things. To do the track I want you to right click or control click directly on the word mask 1. And that'll open the tracker here. Now under the method, I'll click on the drop down and choose position scale and rotation. And I want to analyze to the right. So, I will click this inner rightmost arrow. And I'll sit and watch as all these frames are loaded. Now if the mask ever travels to a place I don't like or gets too close to the van. I can stop the analysis by clicking directly on the button again, and just repositioning the mask as I see fit. So, just a minor adjustment there. And I'll continue the analysis. Now notice in the timeline we're only analyzing the first four seconds of this clip. I gave you the entire clip. So, if you want to analyze the entire thing that's fine. But honestly, once you understand how this workflow works over any section of a video, you can apply to multiple sections of the video. Plus using the work area gives you the ability to just apply this effect to one specific set of frames without necessarily having to edit or pre-edit the video clip that you're working with So, once it's done with that analysis, I'll go ahead and press the stop button here. You can see, yes, we have passed 4 seconds. I've done my analysis. So I'm fine we're only going to fill in the first 4 seconds here. So, let's move our current time indicator to actually 4 seconds in the timeline. And change the mask drop down from none to subtract. So. Now there's a nice big hole where the van used to be. Make sure layer 1 is selected by clicking on it in the timeline. Then go up to the window you go down to choose content aware fill. And you'll see the panel pop up in the lower right corner. And I'll make the panel a little larger here. And I'll go ahead under the fill method we're replacing an object. So I will choose object. 
In order for the range, we only want to work in the work area. So then all we have to do is press generate fill layer. And it's gonna take a little while to analyze these frames. So, once the analysis is complete, you'll see the area where the mask is get filled in with content aware fill. So I will rejoin you in just a few seconds. So once the analysis is complete, you'll see the filled in area here. Let's preview our clip. I will click at the bottom of the timeline to deselect and make the composition panel bigger by making the timeline smaller. And then I will press the space bar. And you can see that Content Aware Fill has done an amazing job of analyzing the video clip and replacing the suspect frames with filled in frames. Here we go we are done for today, don't forget to sub, like, share, and leave your comment down below in the comment section. See you next time, goodbye.